Prevention of meningococcal disease remains a global challenge as outbreaks and endemic disease continue to make this infectious disease an important cause of death and disability. The highest rates of meningococcal infection and fatality occur in infants and toddlers. Rates then drop, but increase again during adolescence and early adulthood. There are three types of bacteria responsible for bacterial meningitis. Fortunately, new conjugate vaccines, when widely used, have greatly reduced several causes of invasive bacterial meningitis and septicemia. However, current vaccines against meningococcal disease caused by Neisseria meningitidis have been only partially effective due to challenges in vaccine design and this bacterium's highly variable surface antigens. Meningococcal bacteria are classified into 13 serogroups based on chemical differences in their surrounding polysaccharide capsule. Almost all meningococcal disease is caused by five serogroups, A, B, C, W135, and Y. The diversity of these multiple serogroups creates an unmet need for broad protection from this disease. The structural variability of the bacterium's antigens also contributes to the diverse and unpredictable epidemiology of global meningococcal disease. Serogroup emergence and distribution varies worldwide, not only by region, but also over time. For example, over the past 10 years, the distribution of serogroups in the United States has changed. Previously, serogroups B, C, and Y accounted for 43, 40, and 9% of the nation's meningococcal cases. As of 2006, serogroups B, C, and Y are respectively responsible for 28, 27, and 39% of all cases of meningococcal disease. A similar pattern was observed in Colombia, where B, C, and Y account now for 56, 13, and 29% of the nation's cases. These changes affect not only the epidemiology of the disease, but also the selection of vaccination strategies. As our understanding of the dynamic nature of the meningococcal bacteria's surface structures improves, so too do our strategies for vaccine development. We hope these advances will contribute to the realization of broad prevention of meningococcal disease.